Aren't there different stances on how God created? Aren't, aren't these just like any other denominational issue? Well, many people misunderstand Answers in Genesis just as a ministry that kind of deals with science and the Bible type issues, you know, scientific aspects of the creation evolution debate. And of course, uh, debunking the story of evolution is a large part of what the Answers in Genesis ministry does, but the main purpose of Answers in Genesis is to proclaim and defend biblical authority. But what exactly does that mean? Doesn't everybody say that? Well, a lot of committed Christians have different views on a variety of different theological topics, things like baptism and eschatology and soteriology, etc. So when Answers in Genesis talks about needing to stand on the authority of the Word of God in the area of origins, some Christians say, well, the creation issue, it's just like any other denominational issue. Why can't you just believe whatever you want if it somehow fits with the Bible? See, they don't see the various interpretations of creation, gap theory, progressive creation, theistic evolution, these types of things as necessarily compromising or unbiblical positions. They sometimes just think of the topic as kind of divisive and needless. Why are we talking about this? And of course, atheists use this topic a lot to bash the church frequently. But anyway, we'll leave that for another time. Why is this creation issue different? Well, what those Christians may have failed to consider is the question of the source of people's belief about those positions. Think of it this way. If I'm sitting with a group of pastors from different backgrounds and we're just having a chat and everything's fine, and then all of a sudden uh, some denominational issue comes forward, right? And they start arguing about their different positions. How are they going to back up their position? What, what, what's the starting point or source of their belief gonna be? Well, they're all gonna reach for their Bible, right? And they're going to quote verses at one another. Look at this verse here. Yeah, but look at this verse here and, 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 and so on. But see, with the creation issue, what we see is Christians saying, yeah, but, but my geology professor said that the Earth's 4.5 billion years old or something, and, and radiometric dating proves millions of years, and, and so we've got to re reinterpret these words here in the Bible to make it fit. Now, do you see it? What ultimately is the starting point for any other position other than the biblically derived young earth creationist position? It never originates from the text of the Bible. Every other position on origins argues for a belief in God using millions of years to create in some sort of way. But where did that idea come from? It inevitably came from non-biblical interpretations in various scientific di disciplines that are commonly taught in the Western secularized world, you know, the school system, and, public institutions, media outlets, etc. And even though, you know, uh, many Christians might point to verses like 2 Peter 3, 8, you know, a day with the Lord is like a thousand years, you know, try to justify their belief. What you inevitably find if you drill down into their worldview even slightly is that scripture wasn't the source of their belief. It's their commitment to, you know, the idea that the earth is millions of years old is a fact that drives that. These ideas are derived from radiometric dating arguments, right, from geology, or unprovable assumptions uh, in distant starlight arguments from astronomy, not scripture. Bible verses kind of used out of context are just referenced as, you know, some kind of biblical justification afterwards to create this appearance of deep time being a biblically acceptable concept. AIG is a non-denominational ministry that recognizes as long as believers, you know, their starting point for their theological positions is derived from under, the, the plain understanding of God's word, we'd say. Rather than outside sources that they're trying to force into scripture, then they're standing on the authority of the word of God. And even if Christians don't hold to their brother or sister's interpretation of certain passages, they should still see them as committed to the concept of biblical authority if they're citing scripture as their starting point. So this is why the message of biblical authority that the Answers in Genesis ministry promotes is such a unifying and healing message that is received through the various church denominations around the world that we go and visit with our speakers. So is the origins issue like a denominational issue? No, it's an authority issue. What's your starting point? The infallible word of God from the creator who is always there or the fallible opinions of men who weren't? That's what biblical authority is all about.